The press conference was meant to enlighten the public on issues surrounding the state of the country's security amid intensified efforts to reform and restructure the entire security apparatus. For the past 22 years, the security establishment was created and designed in order to keep and maintain edifice of dictatorship. As a result, over the past 22 years, there were great distortions, too many distortions in our security apparatus. It is now necessary that we need to reorient and, in many cases, retrain the security apparatus in this country. Minister Fati used the opportunity to warn people in possession of unlicensed weapons to surrender them to the police in the interest of peace and the democratic grounds the new government has in place. There are many people in society who are in possession of uh, unlicensed weapons. And if you have a weapon that is not licensed, you don't have the, the authority to carry it on the law, we ask you to surrender it. Because when we come across you, and we will discover you, we will find you, the law will take its course. In effect, this is a general warning to anybody who may be in possession of any weapon unauthorized to return these weapons where they belong, in the interest of public safety. The tough talking minister said an audit of the entire security services is currently underway and that all service sectors will be accordingly distinguished and positioned. The government is committed to improving these conditions, but not only that, we are committed to building a modern prison that meets all the international standards, human rights standards, a prison that will be able to provide educational opportunities for juveniles, will provide skills to those who don't have skills, will promote talents of those who have talents, you know, and so that you can graduate out of prison with a diploma, with a certificate. You can graduate out of prison with, uh, as, as a carpenter. You can open your carpenter workshop. According to the minister, another batch of prisoners will be released and that the prison be turned to a correction and productive center for inmates. The president has directed that we continue to review this prison list inmates all over the country, both in Janjambure, uh, uh, New Jersey, and Maltu prisons. And I can assure you that my ministry is very active on that. We are reviewing the list comprehensively, looking at case by case, a very exhaustive job. But thank God I have a very good team at the ministry. We are looking at case by case, and I'm sure uh, very soon we will have another batch of prisoners that will benefit from the, the mercy of His Excellency the President. Mr. Fatik calls for vigilance at all times as the country marches from what was a difficult past. Ibrahim Ajalo, GRTS News.